again with another video today and um, we're just going to do a quick comparison between the latest portrait editing software by on one portrait ai the 2022 version uh, it's out now i've downloaded the trial to just have a little play and we're going to put it against portrait pro 2022 okay so this is going to be just like a live edit of the same picture just nice and quick doing the same things I'd like to do in each program and we'll see which one looks better at the end. So I'm not doing this because I'm paid, I'm just doing this to help people get a informed choice on what may be best for them. Okay, so price wise we've got the um we've got the on one portrait AI running in at 75 euros which is about 64 pounds probably at a guess around about 75 80 dollars if you're in the us um and we've got the portrait pro 2022 with a 50 percent discount at the moment that's 39.95 and with my discount code as well you'll get another 15 percent off that so coming out a lot cheaper than the other software we're going to use today as well so i'm just going to close these down like i said i'm going to do a quick edit in both software so this will this video will probably be around about 15 20 minutes long if you want to just skip to the end and see the results well then do that and um, like i said i'm just doing it from what i can see both software can do i'm not doing anything different to what i do any other day other than try what i can anyway so i'm going to crack on so i'm going to start off with portrait ai 2000 or not 2000 yeah 2022 version and again nice simple layout you know i do like the the layout of the software we go over the left hand side and we can see some presets that they already give for you so we're going to start off with the manual the model in question is between 16 and 30 years old so we'll click on that one and we're going to do a manual edit and then on the right hand side of the screen we've got the um, things we can do to the picture nice and quick okay so it's just a basic headshot um, model there in the studio and um, first of all we'll, first off we're just going to bring down the brightness of the picture as that's the first slider I am seeing there that's had something done to it and then we're going to go to the retouch and we're just going to zoom in just a little bit um, okay so that's the skin smoothing up and down and then we've got the amount slider here so if we put it put it to full that's the effect you'd get blemish removal you can see what the sliders do to the face as i do this this will add detail back into the picture and then we've got the standard smoothing as well we'll just zoom out just a little bit so you can see what it's doing at the standard resolution so okay so i wouldn't go max on anything on these um any software i'm using That'd just be crazy. So we'll just bring it around the. She didn't have many blemishes, so we'll just bring the blemishes up. Keep the detail around the 50% mark. What does the texture one do? That's going to give you texture back into the picture. Now there is a bit of shine on the model, but I do like that anyway. That shine on, shine off. Like I said, we've already messed with the brightness. We're going to bring the brightness down just a tad. And we'll give it a little bit of a slim face we'll try and bring them eyes just a, li a little bit larger so we'll bring them up to 32 on each one and eye brightness now when we're doing the eye brightness you can see it's just doing that there detail in the eyes all the way up and then we'll just bring them up just a little bit again we won't go too far on any other settings brow enhance that would be max that's off we'll just give it just 
a little bit of enhancement. We can't do any teeth whitening because you've got a mouth closed. And there we go. A quick edit with Portrait, sorry, not Portrait Pro, On One Portrait AI. Now the features in this is the pretty the pretty limited for the price they are charging. That's only my opinion. You know, it might work for some people. Um, anyway, so we're going to save that picture. Quick export. My cat's moaning for some reason. On one. There we go. And quality 100%. So we're going to save that. There's not much else I can do with this pitch. And guys, we're back with the Portrait Pro 2022 version. And we've got this picture again loaded up. And okay, straight off the bat, we're just going to adjust the um, the AI the AI face recognition just to get it a little bit more perfect around the edges. Don't forget, folks. Um, there's a twenty. Oh, no, sorry, fifteen percent voucher discount code below this video. Save yourself some money and use it if you do like this software. It is, uh, I was told the other day it wasn't working if you do the upgrade from an older version, but I just had a, I sent an email to Anthropics and mentioned this and they said it is working fine if you purchase the software outright or if you're doing an upgrade with my discount code that I've got available, you will get your 15% off. Anyway, okay, so we're going to crack on and exactly again, just a quick edit exactly how I would want to do it nice and quick with this software everything is off to start with that's how I like to work <coughs> excuse me and um, we're gonna go in and just get these eyes widened just a little bit not too much happy with the mouth shape we don't need to plump a lips don't need to do anything with the nose really like I said, I'm just going to do a quick edit just so you can see a comparison of what this software can do compared to On One. Um, we're just going to get some hair volume. Just give us some more hair volume there. Bring the hairline down just a tad. Skin smoothing. I'm not really going to do much in here because the skin was pretty good on the day. So I will leave that one for now. Again, these are just quick touch-ups that I would do, okay? You don't have to go the whole hog all the time. So we're going to get them eyelashes popping in just a bit more. So we're going to add a, some eyelashes to the picture. Around that sort of mark. Don't need to do anything with the lipstick. Eyeshadow. I'm just going to get them eye, the eye area adjusted. Nice and quick as well. Again, if I'm quiet while I do this, I do apologise. I'm trying to concentrate and do this quickly as I can. Again, more control over the eye area at the moment. One thing I would do with this picture as well is just do a little bit of rotation on the crop in the final edit in Photoshop. But at the moment, we're just doing the the quick touches to the makeover. Now, we're just going to add a little bit more blusher to her. Um, eyebrow pencil, all those sort of things we're going to leave alone. We'll just pop into the eye one. Brighten the iris just a little bit. And we're going to sharpen the eyes as well. Just a little bit. When you add the eyelid, it just gives a little bit more depth to this area. So I do like using that slider function all the way up. And we will go into lighting. And we'll just give a little bit of shadow on this side of the face. This side of the face. Just a bit more. We're looking at the catch light there. It is on this side, so there would be just a little bit more shadow on this side if we wanted. Okay, happy with that. I'm just going to bring that 
over this side just a little bit there. And the contrast, we're just going to go to that sort of area. We're just going to bring that fade down just a little bit. Around about the 70, 80% mark. And we're going to get a little bit more smoky eye effect. Sculpt the nose. And just under the chin. And I'm done. What I'm going to do now is export that image, put them side by side, pause this video, and I will show you the final look. Okay, so we'll stop there. Right then, folks, <coughs> excuse me. We've got the three images on the screen. Uh, from left to right, we've got the original image here, and then we've got the edited version with on one portrait AI, and then on the final image, we've got the edited version nice and quick all three uh, all two of them uh, done with portrait pro you decide which one think does the best editing effect um leave it up to you i know which one i use i use it all the time makes my workflow nice and easy and yeah anyway i'll leave it there leave a uh, comment in the description you know good or bad it doesn't bother me it's um yeah everyone's choice but yeah for me i know which one works the best and um yeah i'll leave it to you to decide yourselves okay see you in the next one bye